And we'll begin with a look at the latest coronavirus case numbers from Johns Hopkins University. Now more than 120 million confirmed cases of COVID-19 worldwide. 535,000 American lives lost to date. As the CDC now reporting, more than 109 million doses of vaccine administered from coast to coast. All right, number uh, percentage of Americans who have been singly or doubly vaccinated grows. That's great. Yes. Right? That's great news. But we're getting some news about how effective the vaccines are against preventing infection. Not just disease. Okay, oh, you, oh yeah, you got something for This you. is big news, you guys, and we have to go back to understand the perspective here. Remember, when these vaccines were authorized, a key point was that they prevented disease, clinical disease. We did not yet know whether they prevented asymptomatic infection. Yes. Now, uh -huh. there's a new mm. published study. Take a look at this. Uh, this was research done at the Mayo Clinic, just published in the Clinical Infectious Diseases Journal. Um, remember here, these mRNA technology vaccines, uh, we really didn't know what the, whether they were effective at preventing infection, just that they were worked in preventing manifesting disease. Now, the Mayo study looked at just under 40,000 people. They looked back, you guys. These were people who were vaccinated and then screened before, let's say, a medical procedure, and they found that 10 days after the second dose, they had overall 80% effic efficacy of lowering the risk of asymptomatic infection. This is such well, good news, you guys. Yeah, that's great news, but a lot of people are focused on the numbers. So give us like 80% versus 95%. That's what does right. It all mean? I'm so glad you asked that, Amy, because here's the bottom line. Remember back a year ago, I had asked Dr. Anthony Fauci, among others, what is the minimum efficacy that you are looking for to authorize or approve a vaccine so it can slow this pandemic? They said the basement was set at 50%, 50 percent, five zero. Um, for perspective, influenza vaccine hovers around 35 percent efficacy. We still recommend it. It does not need to be 94, 95, 96 percent to save lives and slow this pandemic. So these vaccines, the efficacy is all looking good. And when you get to the 80, 85, 90, 95, you're at the top of the curve. It's all good. All oh, right. Good start to yeah, this we'll Tuesday show. It's all good. Yeah. Right? <laughs> okay. Thank you, Dr. Jen. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.